Hi, in this video what I would like to do is introduce some of the features of IntelliJ that are relevant to this course. It's not going to be an extensively long video, this introductory one, but I want to show you some really nice features of it um, that would be of a benefit for you when you're trying to write your code. So when you fire up IntelliJ you have your past projects down here and you have a new project here. I'm just going to do a new project just to talk you through, simple process. You get this pop-up window. For a basic project, you don't need to add anything else. You can just uh, hit next. You don't need to create a project from template. Just click next. Give your project a name. I've just called mine Untitled 1 because this is just a demonstration project. Then it opens up the window. And the window, a couple of things to note. Okay, you have the name of the project and you have a source src folder in here you're going to create your pro your java files um, so let's do that straight away right click it new java class remember everything in java is a class let's just call this our test okay um, and then just hit enter and it creates an empty public class test a little bit like netbeans now it hasn't created our public static void main so I'm just going to type it in okay and um, I write public static main void in the bracket I put strings string uh, square bracket args which is the standard signature for a main okay so now I have a main I can execute it and I I, um, I can run it okay so let's just put a very simple system always check your code works by simple so capital S system dot out dot print and you notice every time I hit dot a huge list opens up if I put open um, speech marks it often puts the close one I'll put hello world inside here and you'll notice a couple of obvious features it um, color codes keywords um, text is green on that screen if you're able to see it in this video then once it's done you'll notice a little run sign by it so you can click the run sign and it will say run it or debug it we're going to run it uh, hit the run down at the bottom you'll notice activity and there's your console window so this is much like at this stage much like um, NetBeans but let's add a class so let's let's um, a class which we're going to create an object so let's just call this um, simple okay a simple class there's our blank simple class let's add some private member variable so let's say private int will have and we will have a private string um, give them a name I'm forgetting to give them a name um, oops what is going on here with my typing and uh, let's call this str because I have no imagination and call that variable I terrible names don't worry okay so imagine that part of the task is to create a simple class now you think oh, I've got to do my get set methods and my uh, constructor what what IntelliJ can do for you is if you right click it and you go to the thing called generate it does some very clever and helpful things let's click generate and see what happens click generate and it allow it gives you an option to create getters sets gets and sets two string methods um, and a constructor so let's start with a constructor pops open a window asks which variables you're going to pass into your constructor so let's say both of them I highlight them both say yes it's created my first constructor let's say I need a second constructor which is just blank right click go to generate go to constructor and I don't want it's interesting I, I just want to pass in the int well select none actually is what I want and there's a blank constructor so you can very cleverly and you notice how it does it it creates the parameters it, it uses the this keyword if you remember this is this keyword refers to these ones here these private ones then you think okay yeah that's pretty useful what about get set methods for each of those private variables right click click generate go to getter and setter select the variables you want to create get and set for and go yes and it's created your get i set i get string set string and it just builds it for you you can edit them obviously afterwards but there in a very short space of time you have built a class so if I come back over to my test in my main and my class is called simple 
and I'm just going to call it uh, obj for my object I use new and I'm going to create another simple open the bracket now often you want to know what order the, the values you have to pass into your constructor are you notice there it says int i so I know I had to pass a number in and a string so let's just say uh, age right semicolon that's quite useful right and you'll notice also that it's put a little the name of the variable in front so it helps you when you're looking at it let's um, go back and have a quick look at this two string method in here let's generate a two string method um, no I'm outside hang on hang on let's come back inside generate and I want to do a two string method I want to select everything right let's see what that method does right so it's auto generated it so we come back here I've created an object passed it two numbers let's grab a system print out line open bracket the object is obj and I hit dot and I should have my two string method which it generated for me let's run it and let's see what happens to run it you can right click it to run you can debug it to follow on the top right hand corner you can hit run and select the main method or you can just go to the bar here this gray bar and hit run and then off it goes so let's see what it does it's building at the bottom you can see and that's what the two string method looks like that's his default function so you can edit that two string to make it more useful to you or more appropriate but straight away what you'll notice in a very speedily I can build a class in seconds so that's really what one of the really nice features I wanted to show you um, another feature I wanted to show you is I don't know if you can see but this is green this is grayed out there is a tool if I right click it called analyze and code cleanup now code cleanup um, allows you to pick your project or a file say OK and what it does is it hunts through the file and finds any code that's suspicious any problem right hasn't found anything that's quite useful let's use the analyze let's inspect the code and um, that's the other thing to do and what it does is it gives you a little a message here of, of things like unused variables so here we've got something that's not used um, what's wrong here entry point unused declaration okay that means that I've built it but I that actually doesn't quite make sense I'm misreading my own uh, messages here uh, let's have a look I've got a get method is never used a get string method is never used it's got this thing here no problems found with that that's happy with that it gives you information about your code that you've written that you can use so later on when you're tidying up your code and stripping it down after you've you know tied drafting it out it's a very useful way to get your code into a shape that's um, close to being um, you know um, available for others okay so let's stop this and uh, I hope this video gives you some encouragement to use IntelliJ